Hi, let's take a look at how to add employees in Descara People. Right now, you're in the Descara People dashboard. On your left hand side navigation menu, you'll be able to see a module called Employees. Click on it. Once you click on it, you can see Employee List visible here. So click on Employee List. The Employee List gives the information of all the employees available in the system. Their name, the designation, their employee ID, their CPC, and their status, whether they're active or terminated. You'll also be able to import employees as well as export them. Right now, let's take a look at how to add an employee within the system. So I click add employee here. And you can fill out the information. So the employee profile is segregated into three different sections. First is the employee details where you fill in the basic details of the employee. Second is the component section where you'll be able to see all the payroll components assigned to this employee. And if you want to assign more components, you can do that here as well. Third is the compliance details. Specific to India, what and all information needs to be taken will be taken here. So let's go ahead and fill this up. Okay, first name. Uh, I'm just going to fill all the mandatory fields here. So the email is important as the email will go to this particular employee so that they'll be able to log in to their system. Right. So designation designer date of birth. Right. Date of joining will be, let's say, January 2020. My confirmation date is January 2020 as well. Okay, so I'm going to fill out the address here. So the zip code is mandatory. So the city or the locality that you're in, the state is important because it is used for calculating some of the taxes. And here you can enter the CTC per year or per month. I'm going to enter it per month. So CTC of 50,000. So the payment method, there are three types available, but I'm going to choose cash for now. So once all these generic details about the employee is complete, you can click on next. Once you go to the component section, there are four default components here, basic, HRA, conveyance allowance and fixed allowance. So these four are default available for all employees and we have set up the components and the percentage in the component section so automatically it will populate over here so we have set up basic as 40 percentage of ctc but we'll be able to change it to any percentage you want and it will automatically correct the hra is 40 percent which seems to be accurate we can also assign components here the bonus commission and transport allowance if we want to i'll just put a bonus of thousand rupees right if you don't want the other components we can just delete them so bonus fixed allowance conveyance allowance basic and hra are here uh, conveyance allowance is zero so it won't display that so we'll get an estimate of around fifty thousand and the breakup of your salary once you're done and happy with this, you can click on next. Here you'll be asked to fill out all the compliance details here. So the PAN number, your UAN number, and your PF account number. Okay, so once you're done with this, you have 
three options here so employees provident fund professional tax and exempt employee from the tax exemption or tax calculation so if you have a check if you check this employees provident fund then epf will be applicable applicable for this particular employee same goes with professional tax which is on by default but if you click this you can exempt this employee from the tax calculation process for any reason that you so deem so i'm going to make sure that this employee has provident fund applicable to them so i'm going to click on this and then i'm going to save once you save they will the employees will show up in the employee list if you want to make any changes you can just click here and click on edit and then you'll be able to see all the employee profile details that's all for today thank you